What's going on, y'all? Hope all is well. Another episode of Combos with the CFP Mario Payne in beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. As you know, I'm a certified financial planner. I've been practicing for 16 years. Brought in over $250 million in assets over my time practicing. So I guess I know what I'm doing. But on these YouTube streets, just giving information. And today, as I rub hands like Birdman, Dollar Tree. And let me tell you guys. Dollar Tree, not our parents' Dollar Tree. Y'all know y'all went to Dollar Tree as kids. Y'all might go now. <laughs> I haven't. Shoot. Need some birthday candles? Go to Dollar Tree. But let's talk about how their stock has been rocked, but it might be going up now. But before we get started, as always, like, subscribe, share to our channel as we continue to grow. Get those likes up. It helps the channel tremendously. It gets this information out to more people. How many people you know, 16 years in the business, not a guru, but a person who's really doing it license-wise is giving information. So like, share, and subscribe. But let's talk about the Dollar Tree. Well, Dollar Tree is added again. The company announcing that it's going to be adding 300 new items, but they won't cost $1.50 or even $5. Huh? $5? What could cost $5 at the Dollar Tree? Hmm. Said the new max price will be seven dollars. Say the seven dollars. What can possibly be? I mean, I know inflation is ridiculous, y'all. I literally went to Target today and got a Snickers. It was two dollars and sixty cents. I went to Lowe's last week and bought a Snickers. Y'all know I love my Snickers bars. A uh, Lowe's Snickers bars was three dollars and sixty nine cents. I remember no Diddy. I remember when Snickers was 69 cents. No diddy. But however, things from an inflation standpoint go up. But I can't imagine what is $7 at the Dollar Tree. Price jump was made to add new products. News this morning, if you're a bargain shopper, Dollar Tree is raising the maximum price on store items. It's going from 5 bucks to 7 The retailer said the price increase is due to its wealthier customer base. Oh, <laughs> Get to the bag. Now, that is how you save money, right? We penny pinch. We budget. We do the 50, 30, 20 rule I talk about. 50% to needs like mortgage and things of that nature. 30% once like I want to go on vacation. And 20% goes towards saving and investing. So in that 50%, that's mortgage, car, bills, groceries. And we're penny pinching and we're going to Dollar Tree. Ain't nothing wrong with that, y'all. Go ahead, wealthy people. Dollar Tree says its fastest growing demographic is people who earn at least $125,000 a year. Woohoo! So you're telling me if I earn $125K a year, I'm going to Dollar Tree? Sign us up. All right, profiteers. So that's Dollar Tree, but let's get to the charts and see why, from an investment standpoint, us as investors might be happy about some Dollar Tree stock right now. So my profiteers, here's Dollar Tree. And as we can see, it's been trending up for a very long time. Ups and downs along the way. But we always say zoom out. As we zoom in, mind the gap. Look at that. That 19% increase right before the market went down in 2022. Like they say in Britain, mind the gap. And that gap went up minded. But then my profiteers, as we can see, it went down went down by almost 41 percent my highs my lows my chevy on twin fo's but it was down by 41 percent shouts out to ti and yes did not feel good at its low but look what's happening it is rallying rallying and as we know with investing what do we want we want our highs being higher and our lows being lower and look here one high too high. Now it went down by 13% a few weeks ago. Then by one, popped up by 5%. So to, just to get back to where it was a few weeks ago, that's a 12% gain, my profiteers. Not bad. However, when we look and see, delete, man. As we see, though, I think better days are ahead because look, we have the opportunity. Come on, what are we doing? to not only get one high, look at that, 
huh, 16%, and then 21%, then 28%, and my profiteers, 33% to get back to where it was at almost $180 a share. And I believe we are going to get there. Not only do I believe we're going to get there, but my profiteers, I actually think we are going to hit $200 a share by the next 12 to 18 months. A few reasons why. New clientele. When you have new clientele, that means more money coming in. More money coming in, same expenses, higher profit margin, we make more money. Number two, inflation. Why inflation is still higher than what it should be, people like to penny pinch. And when inflation goes down, people will still penny pinch. And when they penny pinch, they're going to the Dollar Tree. But number three, the biggest reason why is because that $125,000 salary individual going to Dollar Tree or the wealthy going to Dollar Tree. You think about how many TikTok videos, meme videos, how many individuals are going to post Dollar Tree life, hashtag Dollar Tree, hashtag balling on the budget, the 50-30 rule, 50% 50 of your money in groceries, mortgages, car payments, and they're trying to penny pinch that to go to the Dollar Tree, it's going to be a lot of people as this catch on that's going to turn Dollar Tree into a meme. And that means people are going to buy the stock just to participate. And I think when that happens, the stock is going to go up. And people are going to short the stock thinking that, hey, it's trending up, but it shouldn't go up that quick. And those shorts will be broken and they'll be up, up, up and away. So as Dollar Tree gets their marketing together, as people start doing TikTok videos saying they make over 125000 and they're shopping at Dollar Tree, that is going to make it explode. And also, people won't stop, right? You have more wealthier people shopping at Dollar Tree, individuals that might not be as wealthy shopping at Dollar Tree. That is going to help. And when that helps the profit margins, it helps everybody. But just think. What if Dollar Tree had AI? If they can locate their locations, locate their locations. That's a double entourage. Killer. And they can also see individuals from an income standpoint living with areas. They can specialize those products, those higher profit margin products, the more expensive products, the seven, eight, nine dollar products in those stores. That means more people go to the stores, more people go to the stores, more money that they make. So I believe because of those reasons, even that might not be fundamentally why, technically, and because of meme stocks going up like crazy, Dollar Tree has a great chance to hit 50% growth for $200 a share. Now, compared to Bitcoin, what's that over 18 months? Bitcoin might double in the next nine months after the halving. So you want to be diversified. Don't put all your money in Dollar Tree. But my profiteers, I think that might be the way to go if you want more growth than the stock market. So comment below, profiteers, what you guys think. You guys in Dollar Tree, you're going to invest in Dollar Tree. If you're making over $125,000 a year, are you going to shop at Dollar Tree? Who hasn't went to Dollar Tree to pick up some candles, pick up some knickknacks? Anybody has. Even your, your profiteer himself, Mr. CFP. Anyways, though, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Love is love. And let's make some paper profits together, y'all. Peace. Stays. Make a payment on your bills and you still late, yeah Pay for profits to help you seek change, uh And you just wanna get paid, yeah Tired of making no money mistakes Make a payment on your bills and you still late, uh Pay for profits to help you seek change, yeah Let the show them, just listen You wanna feel empowered by making money decisions Residual by the hours can get you a better living, uh Bitch, check the check, you know and it could be different, you know and